And hello everybody, welcome back, I, well not welcome back, but welcome to Solaris. I am Bogmot, and uh, not too long ago they came with a new uh, little DLC bit. Um, but you could be, uh, already made, made a bunch of races, but you could be, you, you could be ocean people. It was the ocean DLC. The Aquatic Species Pack. Um... Yeah, we've been horrible vampires, we've been merchants, we've been rock people. Um, I exterminated the galaxy once, I believe. So, you know, we've, we've done lots of things. Um, but I think I think we should contrast last game. Good new species. Now we are going to take the new aquatic look. Uh huh. Kind of a. I guess this is a very evolved jellyfish. Uh, I don't like you. Okay, okay. Neat. Ha! Ah, the dolphins. Look at this swole fellow. Kind of like I kind of like their his his flappy head. Yeah, us. No, you look like a terrible abomination. Uh, you know, you could go either way. Mm, sure. What big mouths you have. Alright, okay. Hmm. I, I don't like being able to see your organs. I'm sorry. Okay. You know, I like this guy. He looks dramatic. And I'm a man who likes my drama. The Minerians. Sure, why not? That seems fine. Uh, where's my aquatics list? So you got aqua aquatic ones. you got fleets like Floodgate. The Wrecker of Bearings. Okay, okay. Hmm, There's a little more... R type. Okay, or questions four. I thought I saw this. Yeah, Charlotte Charlotte C. Wallace. Sounds like a great name. I'm going to go with those ones. All right, so if I scroll down, I believe there is a... Yeah, there's an aquatic trait. Makes us good in the ocean, but not so good out of the ocean. Um, housing usage on ocean worlds minus 10. Ocean on plus 20. Uh, housing usage on non-wet worlds... Plus 30. Have a billion non worlds minus 20. So yeah, you really want to go all in on the we want to be in the ocean. Which I do. So, uh, we're going to go to our planet. Uh, and make it an ocean world. Salono. Rochester. Utak. Oh yeah. The Sigarda star of the planet Kurthast. All right, so now we can embrace our inner ocean person, which I am all in on. We are, so we're part of the sea. We're traditional. And I'll biologically meddle with us later, I guess. Uh, we're, of course, going to take aquatic... Cities, there we are. So they introduced two new origins. Ocean Paradise. You get a size 30. Rich food deposits. Bonuses to ha happiness, population growth, and output. Since its birth, this civilization has enjoyed peace and a generous environment. Known to show means enabling unhindered growth and opulence. It's not bad. Or, 
here be dragons. We start with a space dragon. Um. Now, while I imagine here be dragons is more interesting, it's probably been done a little more by the people. So we're gonna have an ocean paradise, a nice, giant, wet, happy world. And you know what? We're gonna be a uh, nice, happy people. We'll be xenophile, egalitarians. Um, I do like attacking people at times. You know, let's take materialists. We can we can build robots. Nothing wrong with robots. So, um, here are ocean worlds. Agriculture are uncapped. Farmers placed by anglers and pearl divers. Hmm. Yeah, let's be anglers. We'll enjoy the ocean. Right. I'm not sure if it's ideal. I'm sure there's some some stats. But I'm gonna take it. Um just ten percent more happiness is not bad. I don't wanna make us zombies. Oh yeah, um, we're gonna take a democracy. A decadent lifestyle. No, we're, we're, we're egalitarian. Can't be too decadent. Faction, maybe. Meritocracy. Ooh, you know what, I'm gonna take meritocracy. Specialist pop resource output plus 10%. We're a direct democracy. Um, it's a mysterious form of democracy where citizens use computer networks to vote directly on most matters regarding the state. Uh, so we do have. We all have the makings of greatness in us. We all have the making. Honest work means hard labor. Honest work means hard labor. We all have the makings of greatness in us. Sure. We just need to take the helm, chart the course, and enjoy the ride. We could be the Minirin Interstellar Republic. I think we need some sort of ornate fancy. Oh. You know, there's a there's a simplicity in that. Oh, there we go. Yeah, no, I'm gonna use this one. Uh, we're gonna take aquatic ships, cause duh. Ooh, look at that guy. Florence Pit. Oh, we gotta change the room. I need. Well, let's actually go backwards. It's a nice orb in the background, but I'm gonna take this room. Here we are, the Minerian Interstellar Republic. We'll save that. Uh, you know, I've been pretty good about, uh, not, um, not wrecking things, so, actually, no, I should turn off, um, again, so, because of how I record, it is useful for me to be able to fix things. If I need to. Uh, yeah, that should do. Everything looks fine. No, I, I like my... I like my... Properly, spirally armed shaped galaxies. There we go. We're heading on in. Into the Ocea. The sea. Try to those who possess the wisdom of acceptance. So goes a common proverb in Minerian society. The bounty of life is all around. Once one learns to appreciate in such waters, long have we prospered. 
Both our elders do not sense the stagnation. They confuse our survival instincts with impatience. Actually, change. Change will find us, and we will be unprepared. We cannot be alone in this vast universe. To keep our home, some of us must resolve to leave it. Our descent into the abyss have proved worthwhile. Unworldly wreckage, perilously retrieved, which have been a torrent of technological breakthroughs. Ooh, interesting backstory. All right, cool. Here we are, planet Kirthast. We're in, I, we appear to be in a nebula. Yes. The Kirthast. Alright. We're, we're in a midway through this galactic arm. That's fine. Okay, I can work with this. Get my mining station up and running. I'll take more research. Take more research. I'll take more research. Get that surveying. Let's make a new ship, of course. Alright, so here is Kurthast. Size 30. We have 19 districts left to slot in there, which is wonderful. We have a crystal reef. It gives us two crystal mines. Neat. And it's an ocean paradise. <laughs> Last eternity, if properly managed. More jobs, more population growth, more happiness. All right. Our current chancellor, she is a space miner and a reformer. All right. Ocean paradise. Ba, 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 ba. I'm going to go to speed two. Normally I play on speed three, but uh, two should do. Give me a, enough chance to talk as we play. Hmm. So I am stuck in this weird space void, so I don't know what's quite what's going on yet. But you know, it happens. And I would like to make another ship when I get the chance, so I can start properly mapping. Because, you know, the more you map... The better off you're going to be. And I'll take a little more science. This early in the game, two points of science is still a 10% increase. All right. Of course, if you have thoughts, comments, suggestions on how I should act, uh, do feel free to drop them in. I will, of course, read them. No guarantees that I'll be able to act upon them. Ah, uh, some strange... Interference patterns. All right, that's fine. Investigate. We grow ever strong. There we are. And side ship. Percival class. We got the Hood class, Armada class, Sansperio class. Which class? Isn't the, I think the Hood was the name of a British warship, actually. Sonified Science! Uh, we found a signal within the signal system. A song, a complex song of, a ma of advanced mathematical equations. Point of origin from outside the galaxy. Alright, so we've been sung at from the beyond our, our galactic borders. Let's recruit, uh... Oh, we found a discovered some alien life. That's always fun. I guess, yeah, we, we assume where the song is, is because of that. We will. Of course, you know, we're playing the good guys this time. We shall greet the Xeno with open arms. Oh, and we found volatile moats already. Not too shabby. 
can work with that. Interesting. I wonder if this is closed off. Because if it is, that'd be pretty useful for us, actually. I'm going to send you over there. Next, I'm going to send you down there next. There next. Because then it's uh, there's some easy block-off points, which would then keep this little chunk here oh, safely mined. Ah! Impressive structures. Sure, I will investigate them. Some archaeology work. I'm, you know, whatever, whatever we get for. Uh, um, in terms of precursor, I'm totally fine with. I mean, obviously, I'd prefer. Something that I don't get much. I think last time I played, I uh, got the Cybrex. Speaking of, sort of a starship. There's a recently attacked ship that smashed into the ground. Okay. Just as I suspected, this is indeed. So I'm always, I'm always taking I always take expansion first. The colonies build faster, then you can you can get more stuff. I think that is that is the best version to take. No, in my luck, I'm probably gonna run into some horrible, horrible monsters. Just like. You know, Fnatic Devourers and Hive Minds that are all like, Hmm, yes, we would like to kill all the alien. And be like, but, but I'm an alien. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, okay. Yes, I would like to discover more habitable life-bearing wolves. We've got some strange radiation bursts. We'll investigate that. This is probably where I want to go first. And another science ship. Ah, oh, we've already found this row. Good stuff. It's good when you're... You want to access uh, the psychic realm. Uh, yeah. Playground. All right. Yeah, it looks like a place we've. It could have been a sensor array or a gigantic art installation. To us, it's like a place you take your kids. Yeah, you give us science. Sweet, juicy science. You know how I love my science. Asteroids typically call this a proposed combined air gravitational anomaly. Alright. There was some spooky stuff over there. Oh, well, speaking of the Cybrex. Okay. Good old machines from long ago. There is new information in the situation um. log. It was your, you know, your basic. Your basic, uh, Terminators. Which is fine. Um, you get a, uh, helps you get Mega Engineering and a Ring World earlier on than others would. Um, which is solid. A system has been charted. All right, we could use. What do I? Need? What do I need right now? I need more juicy unity. Nine unity from that. I guess we're gonna take the monument then. Mm. 
more than a 50% gain if we do that. I'll take it. I will take it. Oh, well, you know what? You can just... Uh, leave me for now. Maybe once I have a little more um, resources under my belt, we'll come back to that one. But uh, a seven-year investigation is more than I want to do at this moment. A system has been charted. Nothing too amazing, sadly. So what I'm kind of waiting on is I want to get the next... I want to specifically get Reach for the Stars. 10% cheaper influence. Let's build another side ship. Many science ships. I'm doing much science. What have we here? There we are. See, 134 days? That is much more my my thing. Uh, begging for some archaeological work. Just strange stuff. Scientist leveled up. Good, good, good. A system has been charted. Okay, I'm gonna go that way. Um, well, I suppose I could send you. Yeah, might as well. You know what? Yeah. That will keep you occupied. No crime. Very stable. There it is. Reach for the stars. Oh, we found a world. A size 10 tomb world. That's not going to get colonized. What have we here? Uh, again, three years. You know, three years? I will take three years. It's um, a strange asteroid belt stuff. Uh, some, some monoliths. If I definitely chart a history. All right. So main lineage like this, empty inhabited world, needs monoliths. Which I can't entirely blame. If I were a giant spacefaring empire, I would leave monoliths just all over the place. It's too many monoliths. It's a moon. Okay. Space charts updated. Nothing wrong with a moon. Okay. No, no, no. Oh, that's, you know, we didn't do that. Let's do this quickly then. Let's check out our home system a little bit. We have an asteroid belt. Okay. We have our beautiful ocean world. No moon for us. There's a frozen world circling ours. Okay. Uh, yes, we'll take additional mining. Is that we it? Just ever no, no. another frozen world. A bunch of a bunch of ice planets, and then our beautiful, perfect world. Okay, I accept this. I guess I'm gonna go over here next. Our have detected an anomaly. Make another construction ship. Mm. 
because I want to I want to take these um, points, certain points where obviously you know if you take them, you have no way in. You can't access all these other things. I mean, I want to be friendly to other races, but I don't want to be too friendly. You know what I mean? No, no, no. All right, with that, I think we can take a little break, though. Yeah, that's a good start to the game. I might I might pick up the pace going forward. I'll have to think about it. Uh, but for now, yeah, we'll call it there. Have a great night.